It is important to sign into your Chrome browser fully so that you can access your Google Classrooms and all the great extensions DDSB has to offer. One mistake that I see is that some families sign in just at the Google level down below. You want to make sure that you're signed into the Chrome browser, the one at the very top. You may notice that your student account is already added. If not, click on add. You're going to add person. You can name the account and choose a photo. You can create a desktop shortcut for your child so it is easier for them to find. Your student is already a Chrome user, so you just need to sign in using their at DDSB student account. When you sign in, it should be the S student number at ddsbstudent.ca. The first time you log in, you'll be prompted to log in three times in total. You do recognize this account, so click on continue. At this point, if it's your first time logging in, click on link data. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna choose cancel so I can show you what it looks like if you don't sync. When you check your account, if you see turn on sync, you want to make sure that this is on. You will have to log in one last time to make sure that you sync your data. This ensures that you have access to those great extensions. Now I'm going to link my data. Now when you click on the gray puzzle piece at the top, you will see all the extensions that DDSB has to offer. go to student.ddsb.ca. Here you can access your courses. Some of your teachers might use D2L. The first time you click on it, you might be asked to log in again. On the left-hand side, you will see all the courses that you have been automatically added to. If your teacher uses Google Classroom, you can also find that on the Student Mobile Campus. Once you enter your Google Classroom, you will notice the stream for all the class announcements and the classwork page for all your materials and assignments. You can view your work to see which assignments you haven't turned in and which assignments have been returned to you with marks and which assignments are missing based on a due date. You can also enter the classroom Google Meet at the very top. If you get this error, it means that your teacher hasn't started the Google Meeting yet. Just be patient and click reload 